meetings at eight. We got five minutes to get there. Go around this guy, he's not even moving. With the class leading 250 horsepower V6 engine, yeah. the Saturn View can get you to the meeting on time. Unless you turn on the six speaker stereo. Get a new 2004 Saturn View with 0% APR financing for five years. See your retailer for details. If you think all batteries are the same, consider this. When IMAX needed power for their camera, they trusted Duracell. Up there or down here on Earth. Duracell. Trusted everywhere. Stupid dating trick number 15. I told you I could tie a knot in a cherry stem. And it only took you 22 minutes. E, UPN Monday after the Parkers. UPN Tuesday. Woo, just got all in the house. Beautiful guest stars are great. I'm in no, no hurry to get home with you. But a hot wife is even better. I got all worried and jealous for nothing. And I think we finally settled the debate over who your daddy is once and for all. Rock me baby. UPN Tuesday, 9, 8 central. UPN Monday. This mom needs a night out. Go out with your mom. She did dust off her Matrix outfit. Half and half. UPN Monday after Girlfriends. One-on-one, on one. 8, 7 Central, UPN Tuesday. UPN Monday, comedy comes alive. First, when Nikki goes shopping for a coffin, a funeral is more than she bargained for. This has gone too far. <laughs> the Parkers, then on Eve, stupid dating trick number 15. I told you I could tie a knot in a cherry stem. And it only took you 22 minutes. There are things your man shouldn't hear, but your girlfriends know. I crown you queen of stank a dank 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 Then on half and half. Does mom need a night out? She did dust off her Matrix outfit. The fun all starts UPN Monday at 8, 7 central. My dad died in 06. Then my mom had my little brother, who was born with it. They both got sick and died. This is the room my big sister died in. She had it the worst. She held on for a long time, and I took care of her. Nobody came to help us. We didn't know what to do. In a war-torn city, where the shadows of death still linger, they risk their lives to protect our freedom. Now, it's time to say thank you. The WWE is going to Baghdad to throw the biggest Christmas bash our troops have ever seen. It's WWE Christmas from Baghdad, and it's about time. WWE Smackdown, Thursday at 8, 7 central on UPN. UPN January 13th. Who will be America's next top model? Anna. I'm just going to do whatever it takes. I wouldn't stab anyone with a knife or anything. Janasha. I smoke cigarettes and I um, got a thing for tequila. Katie. I'm not as innocent as I look. Only one will be transformed from ordinary to extraordinary. Tyra Banks brings you America's next top model. Back on the runway. UPN January 13th. Dad, let's go. If you think a regular guy can't alter the course of national security, then you don't know Jake. Don't miss two full hours of Jake 2.0. This is so freaking cool. UPN Friday, 8, 7 Central. Stay tuned for the UPN 57 Eyewitness News weather update. Don't miss the 40th anniversary year-end clearance sale at Conicelli Autoplex Conshohocken. Everyone is talking about the incredible savings that Conicelli is offering on new and certified Toyotas, Hondas, Nissans, and Mitsubishis. Conicelli has financing as low as 0%, factory rebates too numerous to mention, and discounts over $6,000 on the best-selling imports in America. Toyotas, Hondas, Nissans, and Mitsubishis. Conicelli has over 1,200 vehicles in stock. The time to buy your Toyota, Honda, Nissan, or Mitsubishi is now. Conicelli Autoplex, Rich Pike, Conshohocken. This is a UPN 57 Eyewitness News weather update. 
Good evening to you and Merry Christmas Eve to you. The wettest Christmas Eve we have ever had around these parts. Many of you saw upwards of two inches of rain. Storm totals from today's rain. Trenton, nearly two inches of rain. Philadelphia, one and three quarters of an inch. Millville, more than an inch and a half. Allentown saw almost an inch. Atlantic City and Wilmington, more than an inch of rain. Meaning today in Philadelphia officially, this Christmas Eve, the wettest Christmas Eve we have ever had. So what's in store for tonight? Thankfully, the rain is gone. 32 will be your low for the suburbs. 35 for Center City, Philadelphia. Duffy perfect for Santa to fly right on into the Delaware Valley. Partly cloudy skies. Christmas Day forecast. Partly cloudy skies continue and kids the chance of a few flurries tomorrow afternoon. Have your five-day forecast and the latest on Santa tonight on Eyewitness News at 11. This has been a UPN 57 Eyewitness News weather update. Now you tell Santa what you want for Christmas. I want a cell phone. I want a cell phone. Get tons more gifts at Value City's Tis the Season for Bargains event. This week, buy any regular price toy and get a second toy 50% off. Brands your kids want. Play School, LeapFrog, Disney, Fisher Price, and many more. Buy one, get one 50% off this week only. Value City. Best bargains in the city. Now on Judge Mathis. The Hyundai win-win year-end event. Now through January 2nd. Lease a 2004 Santa Fe for just $199 a month. the IKEA winter sale. Save up to 50% on select items store-wide. Paycheck is the perfect thriller for the holidays. Oh my God, take it. It will keep you guessing right up until the end. Hooray! With action sequences, only John Woo can deliver. <laughs> Words can't describe how amazing Paycheck really is. Ready PG-13, now playing everywhere. And the interest rate's not too shabby either. Hurry. Special 3.9% APR financing on all new Honda models ends January 5th. Party. Red's house? I'm red. I don't like party. Shut up. Red's rules. I'm red, dumbass. Dumbass. Deal with it. Dumbass. This is a total hard ass. Hard ass? Take another look, my friend. It jiggles when he wiggles. That 70s show. Weeknights at 6 starting Monday on UPN 57. From all of us here in the Parkers, happy holidays! The following is a fully sponsored paid program. She thought she was going to die. It's very important not to give up. I don't know how much time we have with our daughter. Anything could happen tomorrow. I knew I had, I had been pretty sick. She's the bravest person I know. We've all just decided to take it one day at a time and make the best out of every single one of them. When children first arrive at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, they're brought here to our clinic. This is the nerve center of our hospital, where the battle to save lives begins. You know, it's been almost 40 years since the doors of St. Jude first opened. We've seen remarkable progress in our fight against cancer and other childhood diseases. Doctors, nurses, scientists, and researchers from around the world have come here with one purpose, to save lives. Well, every year, thousands of children walk through these doors with one dream, to be cured. Katie has had to learn the hard way just how important that dream is. She has AML, acute myeloid leukemia. It's pretty serious. She has a grown-up leukemia, and the, the chemo she gets is really, really intense. And I mean, she stays with no immune system for two and three weeks. I throw up and I get her dizzy. Our whole world fell apart. She thought she was gonna die, and she cried for two days. 
I was scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. She's a strong child, very strong, and she made it through seven months of a lot of medicine, a lot of tests, and she had pneumonia, and she had um, a blood infection, a bacterial infection. There's days when I don't know if I can go on. And she looks at me, she says, Mama, I'm going to make it. It's very important not to give up. Hi, honey. How are you? Okay. The staff at St. Jude is doing everything they can to make Katie better. But sometimes it's important just to be a friend. You didn't even call me. We try and take away as much of the fear that we can. <laughs> I love her. Like, she's my little sister. Katie's condition is finally stabilized, and her white blood cell counts are high enough that the decision has been made to let her go home for a short visit. Right now, it's the best medicine the doctor could order. Every minute counts when you're home. She's been ready to come home for so long and to see her out there playing like a normal child. Make a try, Katie. Like she's old Katie again. You have everything to worry about, medicine, and making sure she doesn't have fever, and making sure she eats, and it's an ongoing battle. You have to fight it every day. But there could be setbacks. What we hoping will be home eight weeks. Unfortunately, these precious moments would soon become distant memories. A CAT scan has revealed that there is a spot on Katie's lung. It's a fungus that's growing quickly. A biopsy is performed, and the decision is made to operate. I'm scared. She said, don't cry anymore. I'm going to be OK. What? The doctor successfully removed the fungus. But they also took 60% of Katie's left lung. For now, the crisis is over. Soon, Katie will have her last chemotherapy. She can't afford to relapse. It is essential that she stay in remission. We visited her again a few weeks later, concerned about her delicate condition. Only to find that Katie was back in the game. I don't know how Katie does it. Sometimes she has a hard time, but we make it. She gets through it. Save Jude. Save Katie's life. I never thought something like this would ever happen in my family, but it did. And I'm thankful, and I'll never forget what they've given back to me. Katie, you look great. I hardly recognize you from your other pictures. You got all your hair back. How many months did that take? Seven months. Wow. It looks wonderful. Thank you. Are you, are you back at school? Yeah, I'm back at school and I'm doing great. They did a bone marrow biopsy and came in and told me that she went into remission. Congratulations. It's a wonderful feeling. Yeah, she's, she's, she's doing excellent. I just want people to know that things like this do happen and I want them to be able to understand how important it is to give to St. Jude because it, it just helps these kids so much. She's a miracle. Coming up next on Time to Live. I didn't understand why this was happening to my newborn baby. This child may look perfectly healthy, yet because of a rare disease, she's seldom allowed outside of her hospital room. I didn't think that Brennan would live through her disease. Over the years, we've made exciting progress in the fight against deadly childhood diseases. 
We are winning battles because our doctors and our scientists are pioneers in research and treatment. And their work has saved the lives of children around the world. Doctors like Julia Hurwitz and Karen Sloba. Danny Thomas recognized in the 80s the importance of putting HIV and pediatric AIDS on the map for St. Jude. And the research that goes on in the pediatric center here is outstanding and has, of course, contributed to the reduction in transmission from moms to children. Our goal is to create a vaccine so that no one gets infected in the first place. This life-saving research must continue to beat this disease and the others we're up against. This is an isolation room at St. Jude. How are you today? But it's become home for a little girl named Brennan and her mother, Fran. Brennan has a rare form of severe combined immune deficiency. Her body doesn't produce T cells, which means she has no ability to fight off even the simplest infection. Exposure to germs or bacteria could prove deadly. Outside this room, she is completely at risk. I didn't understand why this was happening to my newborn baby. I mean, you know, I just cried. I didn't think that Brennan would live through her disease. She has no immune response. Can't be around anybody. Anybody that goes in her room has to wear the gown, mask, gloves. You have to be totally suited up to go in. Genetic disorders can be just as catastrophic as cancer or leukemia in children. Bone marrow transplant is the only alternative because these children die by two years of age without a bone marrow transplant. Brennan has had a transplant, but it will be at least a year before doctors know for sure if she can fight infections on her own. So for now, her isolation must continue. Fran always wears gloves and a gown, but she'll notice she's taken her mask off. It's a recent decision she made with the doctors. Fran wants Brennan to have a chance to see facial expressions and learn to mimic and develop as other babies do. And there's another, more personal reason. I want her to see my face, and I mean, that's very important to me. It's because I don't want her. I don't want her to leave the world without ever seeing my face. There are times when Brennan must leave her room for medical procedures. See, I'm coming outside. First, Brennan is wrapped in a sterile blanket. Then an announcement is made, and the hallways of St. Jude are cleared. Say good morning. Everyone is required to stay at least 20 feet away. But that doesn't stop Fran from showing off her baby to those she meets along the way. Today, Brennan is scheduled for x-rays. For Brennan, it's an unfamiliar and frightening experience. For Fran, it's another day to be thankful. And another day at St. Jude. My life is here at St. Jude with my child. I live at St. Jude. My stuff's in storage. I don't have a home. I have nothing but my child's life. We saw a birthday that we never thought would come. She overcame a lot to make it to that day. Doctors at St. Jude have decided to make Brennan's world a little bigger. Say yes. Are we going home? She's leaving the hospital and moving to Target House, a wonderful home away from home for our long-term patients, built by our generous partners at Target. Brennan is still in isolation, but it's a first step toward a more normal life. Today, for the first time ever, she's going outside in the sunshine. If she continues to show improvement, her doctor will open her world even more. But for now, the future is still very uncertain. I don't know how much time we have with our daughter. I don't know anything could happen tomorrow. But I know that the past seven months that we've been at St. Jude Hospital was seven months that they gave to me. I don't know what would have happened had we not come here. 
we got results and I mean that's what they offer you at St. Jude. It's hope. I have a disease called osteosarcoma. I have leukemia. Every year, more than 14,000 children are diagnosed with cancer or another catastrophic disease. You can help find the cures they need. Call right now and become a St. Jude Partner in Hope. With your commitment of just $19 a month, you'll help provide breakthrough research and medical treatment to save children's lives. And thanks to the faithful support of people like you, no child has ever been turned away because of the family's inability to pay. That's why your call today is so important. To be a partner in hope is, is an incredible feeling. It's a way to give back. It's a way to do for other people. It's going to a worthwhile cause to help people who are truly in need. They need constant support because there's always a constant need. St. Jude began as the dream of one man. Beloved entertainer Danny Thomas was a struggling young comedian when he prayed to St. Jude, the patron saint of hopeless causes. Show me my way in life and I will build you a shrine, he promised. In 1962, Danny founded St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Forty years later, Danny's promise made in faith continues to be fulfilled every day as children's lives are saved through the commitment of hundreds of thousands of caring Americans. I will do without something and make sure that I can afford to send St. Jude its monthly donation. That's what uh, makes, you know, your life more meaningful. I think that the work that they do here is remarkable, and I consider it an honor and a privilege to support the hospital. St. Jude is one of the world's leading children's research hospitals. With an outstanding team of scientists and physicians, St. Jude has more than tripled the survival rate for children's cancers. Our breakthroughs are shared freely with physicians and researchers around the world, helping save thousands more children every year. As a partner in hope, you make it all possible. Every month, you'll receive a photo and story of a child you're helping. We'll also send you a picture folder and magnet to display your photos. You get a full financial disclosure on how your gifts are used, plus information on the warning signs for childhood cancer. I love the little pictures you get every month. They stick up on my refrigerator. I can see where the money's going, and it feels great. And it's an investment in the future. When you are in a position to do something to help someone, you ought to do it. What if this was us? What if this was our family? What a relief that must be to know that there is this place that you can turn to. You'll receive quarterly newsletters with updates on our research and special holiday cards you can sign and return to share hope with a child. Your encouragement means the world to these kids and gives them strength for the battle. Plus, you're invited to visit the hospital and see firsthand the difference your gifts are making. Call now and join the thousands of Americans who are St. Jude Partners in Hope with your commitment of just $19 a month. And if you make your payments automatically, you'll receive a special gift from St. Jude. Giving automatically is convenient and it saves money, so more of your gifts go directly to help children. These children shouldn't have to suffer, and uh, we need to support them. It makes you feel as though you've done something good with your life. Knowing you've helped that child live another day, another hour, another minute. Becoming a partner in hope could be one of the most meaningful things you ever do. But if your circumstances change, you can cancel at any time and know you've made a difference. To be a partner in hope is something that is infinitely rewarding. They need our help. It's the least we can do. It makes me feel wonderful. Thank God that St. Jude is here today. I wish I was a millionaire and I'd give it to St. Jude. Children's lives hang in the balance. Become a St. Jude Partner in Hope today. Coming up next on Time to Live. We came with the hope that, you know, they're going to fight. A brave 10-year-old battles brain cancer. I call him a warrior. He is definitely a warrior. Until recently, DJ was bubbly, active, and athletic. A typical 10-year-old boy. But with little warning, 
everything changed. One, two, three, push up. Oh, oh. And now every step he takes is a painful struggle. He had been having headaches for about three weeks. So I decided to take him to the um, children's emergency room. How are things going, DJ? Okay. They noticed that um, his face was kind of sorted and that he was leaning his head to the side and they thought we need to have a, a CAT scan. And the CAT scan revealed that there was um, a mass. Does it hurt at all? Sometimes. DJ was rushed to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital where doctors discovered that he had a very aggressive form of brain cancer. And they made no promises, they made no guarantees, but we came with the hope that, you know, they're gonna fight. They just did a biopsy because of the location of the tumor. It's close to the brain stem, so they didn't want to go any further and hurt him, so they just left it right there. David, you're pulling away. Sorry. You ready? Oh, oh, oh. Good. Surgery is too dangerous, so doctors use a combination of chemotherapy, radiation, and steroids to attack the tumor. It's what's causing the swelling in his face. Very still. We only have eight more treatments of radiation, and we'll be complete with that. Between the combination of steroids and radiation, he's really tired and he's weak. The scans show us things to be fairly stable, so I would carry on with as we are. The you know, concern I have is he's, he's losing some ground, as you can see. Mm -hmm. He's got weakness on his left side of his body um, from the tumor, so they want to strengthen him so that he can walk and do as much as he can do on his own. Oh, I call him a warrior. He is definitely a warrior. Not many people have made it, but that doesn't mean that, you know, DJ can't be one to survive. He can beat this thing. David's mom calls him a warrior. I think that pretty much describes all the children here at St. Jude. Little warriors fighting battles against frightening enemies. And they need us to stand with them, side by side, until a cure is found. New technology is helping to improve the way we treat children with brain tumors. And here to talk about these advances is Dr. Larry Kuhn, chair of the Radiation Oncology Department. Brain tumors really are a frontier for us in treating childhood cancer. What we can now do is use very powerful computerized programs to target the place in the brain that needs to be treated and to do that in such a way that we can really deliver an effective radiation dose but spare the normal tissue that surrounds that tumor. Your gifts to St. Jude help keep this life-saving research and treatment moving forward on the cutting edge. Thank you for helping give children Time to live. Once a year, there is a very special day at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. We call it Survivor's Day. Patients and their families come from all around the world to celebrate a victory. A victory over cancer. A moment in time when they can stand and say, I'm cured. Survivors come in all sizes. This photograph will be a souvenir they will treasure forever. This is my third year to attend, and every year it has grown more and more. So to me, it's just an awesome testimony of the hospital, of the research that it does, and to see all your friends who have survived and to remember those that haven't. Tonight, each candlelight represents a life saved at St. Jude. I would not be alive if it weren't for the many prayers and the workers at St. Jude. I was diagnosed in 1980 with Hodgkin's disease. I was diagnosed in 1984 with retinoblastoma of the eye. Diagnosed in 
1989 with ALL. The people at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital were a family to my parents and I. My name is Ruthie Gann. I was diagnosed in 1992. I was diagnosed in 1996 with B-cell ALL. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease in 1962, and I'm patient number 17. <laughs> I thank God for Danny Thomas. I thank God for his great dreams, his vision that no child should go untreated because of their finances. His great dream that all childhood diseases could one day be conquered. To my family, including my extended St. Jude family, relatives and friends, I love you. Seems all my dreams are coming true.